بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله it's important to be of those who give and to have the upper hand meaning the upper hand to give instead of being the one who's always asking and begging and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase our risk so we can be of those people of the upper hand who give and share with the creation Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen and help those who are in need as so much of the creation is in need from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and need of his rizq and support and assistance. Listen to this hadith of the uh, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a hadith, in Abu, uh, a hadith by, uh, reported by Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala he said, uh, by Abu Sa'id al-Khudri radiallahu ta'ala he said, he reported, while we were traveling with the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a writer came and began to stare on the right and on the left the Messenger وسلم, said, who, He who has an extra amount should hand it over to one who has none. And he who possesses surplus provision should give it to him who is without provision. He named various kinds of possessions until we began to think and realize that none of us had any right to any surplus. Ru'ahu Muslim. This is a hadith in Sahih Muslim. The hadith of Abi Sa'id al-Khudri radiallahu ta'ala. And it shows us the importance of being of those who give. And it shows us to be of those who support and pay our dues. And uh, gift giving is something uh, very important in Islam. And we see that in life, it lightens uh, people's hearts. That gift giving, it is such a beautiful uh, tradition of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, meaning something that we're commanded with from the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it is that which pleases Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And that which we have to strive as mu'mineen to do. That we should give and support those who don't have. Do your best, if you have wealth and provisions, to give in charity. To share. Because the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum, they shared their wealth and sacrificed it for Islam. And as uh, the Sahabi, radiallahu ta'ala anhum, reported, mentioned, he said, the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, mentioned these uh, things, you know, of giving so much, that we thought that we should that a person should almost never have surplus. So it shows how they were thinking and how they were thinking about sharing. Whereas we tend to hoard and hoard and give just, you know, whatever little, if we got a little extra, uh, I mean, if we have a whole, uh, you know, immense amount of extra to share, then we give. Other than that, we hoard and we keep. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and bless us to give and share and do those things and to help his creation and because we can't take the wealth with us. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.